In this demonstration, we will see the difference between the copy and move commands that are given by the CP and MV representation. So initially, we create the directory called CP underscore MV. Then we move into the directory we just created using the CD command. Now, when we list the contents of this directory, it is a newly created directory, so it's empty. We don't have any display after the ls command, which indicates that the currently created directory is empty. Now, we create a new file with a cat command called the file1. This is the content of the file. We have saved it using control D. Now we create another file using the cat command and insertion operator and this file is called file2. When we use the insertion operator, we are copying the contents of the file given at the right hand side into the file in the left hand side. So this is another way to copy the contents of one file into another. So in this case, the content of the file 1 is now copied into the file 2 that is newly created with the cat command. So these are the two files that are currently available inside the newly created directory cp underscore mv. Now we'll see how the copy command works. In this case, we copy the file 1 as file.txt. So this file is having an extension which is called txt or the text file. So now we are attempting to copy the contents of file 1 inside the file.txt which is going to be created newly. So if you name it in the original file name, it's going to be different anyway because it has an extension here. The original source file is not having any extension. So the new file is going to be created with an extension. So it is different from the original file. When we use the copy command, the first file name is the source file and the second file name is destination file. Now we'll have all the contents of file 1 copied inside the file1.txt file. We can verify this action using the list command again. Now you can see the file1.txt has been created here. In the previous listing command, we had only two files as file1 and file2 and now when we list after copying, we have three files as file1, file1.txt and file2. So the copy command has created a new file. Now we'll see how a move command works. The command is mv for moving the files. In this case, we are moving the contents from file2 to file2.txt. Since this has an extension, it's not going to be the same file as file2. Now, we are moving the contents from the source file, file2, into the destination file, file2.txt. In this case, we are going to lose the original file or the source file and we'll have only the destination file available. In other words, we can say the move command is just renaming the original file. So now, we have created a new file, file2.txt, which is different from the original file, file2. This is the result of the move command. We are losing the original file and we are having only the destination file.
Now we'll create another directory using the mkdir command and this directory is called backups. Now see what happens when we copy multiple files inside a single directory. We are copying two files, file1.txt and file2.txt into the backups folder. In this case, the last name given in the command is acting as the destination and the first two files are acting as the source files. So we are copying these two files inside this newly created directory. When we list the contents of the current directory now, we have the backups directory which is created newly and all the other files which we had earlier. Now we'll see what are the contents inside the newly created directory backups. We have the two files as file1.txt and file2.txt inside the backups folder. And thus, we have copied two files using a single copy command. And we have both the original source files and the destination files are available. So these are the files in the parent directory which is the mv underscore cp directory and these are the files inside the newly created backup directory. So we have the source files available in both the locations. This is the result of the cp command or the copy command. Now we'll create another directory called source directory and we'll use the wildcards to copy all the text files inside the source directory. So here star is the wildcard that's going to replace all the file names here that's ending with the .txt extension. So now the files file1.txt and file2.txt file will be copied inside the source directory. So the wildcard is replacing all the file names that are ending with .txt. When we do the same action with the move command, the condition will be the source files will be lost and we'll have only the destination files inside the file, the directory indicated here. So you can verify this with the listing command. After the move, when we list the contents of the current directory, we could not see the file 1.txt and the file 2.txt files. We have renamed them and moved them inside the source directory. So they are not available here anymore. Now verify this using the list command inside the source directory. We can find the file 1.txt and file 2.txt here. Thus, this is the difference between the copy command and the move command. Thank you.